Hi! Hi! I'm Heather. I'm Emily. Yep. We're gonna do a movie review. Or the new Terminator movie. Terminator oh. Genesis. I'm a bit of a fan. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of the first two. The rest of them... <laughs> and that yeah. would be because why? Because it's not James Cameron because it's not James Cameron. So this one I had decent expectations because in one of the little movie reviewy no, trailers, mm -hmm. you had James Cameron come on the screen and be like, I promote this film. I didn't have anything to do with it, but I considered this to be the true third one. So when I saw him do that, I was like, all right, it must be half decent. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the truth is it is half Decent. Really thought it was gonna be a big pile of poo. Not a big fan of the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger, at 108 years old, is gonna be playing the exact same part that he played how many years ago? He's old. The director got some things correct. Mm -hmm. Like, true. Going back and doing all the fan, like, oh, we recognize that exact shot, and that actor looks ex identical to the one in the original film, and all that good stuff. That mm -hmm. is. That really is those moments I was like, <laughs> yeah. Although we did go back and change the timeline as if none of the movies had ever happened, which I kind of dug because it's hard to build on something that's so um, antiquated. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, which I thought was going to be the worst part of the whole thing, ended up being my favorite part of the whole movie. Thank you. Edward Furlong is was a punk. Kid. He was a punk. Yes. True. Every time they've ever portrayed John Connor as an adult, he's like this great military leader. You know what I'm saying? I don't buy that at all. The adult John Connor needs to be like a Colin uh, Farrell. An adult punk. It's yes. kind of true. It's yes. kind of true. You can still lead and be a punk. You know what I mean? What if, what's his face? The singer. Adam Levine? No! Oh, okay. Well, Jurassic Park is on right now. Yes, it is. Chris Pratt! <laughs> The one part that you had mentioned pre going into Terminator, mm -hmm. I got it correct. Remember which what part? you said? No. What was bothering you about Arnold being in it? He's old. Which meant that the okay, so that the skin uh, that encompany or encased the the, the, the computer the guy, the endoskeleton was in. Antiquated, and they did explain all that in the movie and made it kind of fit in the fact that he's old. Which was my explanation before I saw the film. It's true. Because so I'm an Uber fan. Okay, so it makes sense. And if it there's living sense. tissue over the endoskeleton, it's going to age just like any other skin because it's living. Right. Word. Overall, number one, it's too glossy. Okay, the original Terminator and the second Terminator, they have an element of grit. Far too much CGI. CGI, it needs to be a tool not the end all be all where you're watching a video game then. And this one has a lot of video game action where just everything is CGI from the buildings to the helicopters to the bad dude. You know what I'm saying? Like I was watching The Mummy with Brendan Fraser. Fraser. That didn't bother me so much though. Why? Because that's the way the movies are going nowadays. Does that make it okay? It's an evolving art form and in the way that what <laughs> In the way that abstractism mm. was a thing and everyone said that was a bunch of crap and now it's hanging in the Museum of Modern Art. Mm -hmm. uh, same kind of thing. Mm. Uh, you can't mm -hmm. deny that 300 is a brilliant movie and that's all CGI and it was used as a tool to create the look of the art which worked perfectly. Ask me how many times I saw that. What? Have you never seen that movie? Oh my god. Because of the CGI, I refuse to see it because no! of the CGI. Yes, no! yes. It's brilliant. I'm it's sure. brilliantly done. It's a really good video game, huh? I am Sparta! It's great! Oh, no oh dear. I'm <laughs> selling them now at <laughs> McDonald's. Is he done La 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 yet? Like, you're supposed to shake him. I can write all kinds of numbers on this check, Dr. <laughs> He's gonna do. La 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 so on a rating scale of zero being no pee breaks. None, you're not allowed to leave the seat. You need to go ahead and go pee in your seat if necessary. Yes, you need to wear it depends because this movie is so brilliant that you cannot leave the theater to go urinate once. What rating do you give Terminator? Two pee break. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, now see, I would only give it a one pee break movie. Huh. I'm a little tougher on it. Fair enough. Yeah. And there you go.